Okay, so we're recording now. So welcome everyone to our Frequency Soul Collective q and I think what's today? Monday, the 29th of January. Um, I'm Sandra. Um, tonight it's Marielle and I that will be doing the Q&A session and some, and some training. Um, for those of you who probably don't know me, um, I work as, I, I do have a day job where I, I I do some very different stuff, but I also work as a massage therapist, um, energy healing and bioresonance. And I've been using the AO scan for, uh, actually, I've been using it for quite a while, probably 18 months now. Um, I, I don't have a team underneath me as yet. It's taken me a bit of time to get familiar with the, the actual technology and get comfortable using it. But the reason I wanted to be part of the leadership team is because that's what I want to do. I want to um, I want to lead a team, and I thought there's uh, what what better way to be involved and to step up and to be part of the leadership team and be around people that are doing the things that I want to be doing. So that's why I'm on the call tonight. And um, we have got a couple of questions. Um, we got a question, a couple of questions sent in. A couple of days ago, um, we I'm also going to talk about um, frequency parties. Marielle's going to talk about some tips and, and tricks on using the device. And um, we also just want to remind you about the 21-day detox program that starts next Wednesday, the 7th of February. But I won't talk about that now. So Mar Marielle, can, um, over to you. You can introduce yourself now if you like. Um, hi everybody, I think I've met almost everybody on here now, but for anyone that I haven't met, I've been working with the scanner for about two years now. I'm just letting people into the from the waiting room as I go. Thank you. Um, and I am trained in self-directed healing, which is a alternate healing modality, and hypnotherapy and NLP. And I've just been using the device with clients and just helping them navigate some stuff that if they don't know what's going on um, I've just been collecting I'm not a medical practitioner or anything so I don't claim any of that but I just have a look at what's going on in the scanner and track things for people and try and look for patterns and help them out and look if I don't know the answers I just collect and gather the data for them and then get them to seek um, alternate practitioners help so a naturopath or something like that um once they've got all that data set to go by so they can see what's been going on for a while um yeah I think that's pretty much me hey thanks um shall we touch on just the just a reminder about the 21 day detox program that starts on Wednesday the 7th I know that it was Joe and Ali that did a session on this last Monday night um it was pretty much most of the session was around that wasn't it girls and if you've got any if you haven't had a look at it or haven't started inviting if you want to invite people along to it I um, recommend that you have a look at that um the other thing we want to talk about tonight somebody sent in a question I think it was Sue uh, what did she want to know? She wanted to know about the 660 band, the Illuminator and the Infinity Wand, what they do individually and how people use them. So I just did a little bit of um, a refresh on all three of these devices. Um, I thought I would just share with you the, the similarities and the differences. And then Marielle and I will talk about how we use them. So the 660 band is, it has red light and amber light in it. So there's a 660 nanometer and um, a 605 nanometer in there. And you wear that on your, on your wrist like a watch, right? So it's the reason for the 660 band is it's really designed primarily for, to impact in your bloodstream. And um, because your veins, what does it say? Your veins and your arteries, they run down into the palm and they U-turn back so that you get four channels right by the skin surface where the red light and the amber light gets exposed. So the 660 nanometer is used for pain relief. You can use it for beauty treatments, um, 
and face treatments, which is similar to the Illuminator. And it helps to pull collagen into the surface of your skin and activating the collagen production post process. It's also good for uh, joint pain. So any muscular pain, knee pain, it opens up the arteries and the, and the veins through vasodilation, which is making the veins um, expand, which allows more blood flow in and if we get more oxygen. So a, a benefit of that is that it also brings relief to the heart. So it means that it's putting less pressure on your heart. And because um, it's it's allowing more oxygen and opening up your arteries and veins, you get more nutrients and oxygens, oxygen to pass through. So that also helps reducing pain. Um, the other thing that the 660 band or the, the, the red light does, it helps with uh, blood cell function. So your energy process or the ATP process. And um, it helps with the whole body's ATP. ATP process, at, which is energy at the cellular level, making it really good for inflammation, great for people with arthritis or even nerve damage. And, um, you know, we sell, um, Solex also offers an, a number of other supplements. The, the red light activates 60% of the electrons in the methylated blue. And the 605 nanometers, which is not as well known as the 660 nanometers, um, is a really key um, component in how that the supplements are activated that um, that go into the bloodstream. So the red light does 60% of the electro electrons in methylated blue, but the 605 nanometers activates 38% of the electrons in methylated blue. So it goes through the body and recharges every time it passes through the arteries and the vein. So it um it really brings the the activity level for those supplements up quite a lot. You, so you think about I think that's what ninety eight percent. So you're really enhancing the natural benefits of those supplements. Um, there's not a, a great deal of research on the six oh five nanometer, but um, studies have shown that, that it does have influence on the plasma in the blood, which is really useful for killing um, viruses and bacteria. So it, uh, it's uh, the research has shown that it creates like an almost like an antibiotic environment in the plas in the plasma, and it really boosts your blood your bloodstream. So your circulation is better, and you get better nutrients through the um, through your system. There is some um, research in, our, in, I think, the second guide on the education hub around this. Um, I use the 660 band. I haven't used it for a while, actually, because of summer, but I use it because I have really bad circulation in my fingers and my feet. I suffer from Raynards when, um, if, I, if it's cold or if I get really stressed. And I wear it quite a lot on my on my left wrist um, throughout winter to really help keep my, um, to keep the blood flowing through my fingers and it works. Um, I still have a little bit of cold in my feet, but it's been really, really good for my fingers because the circulation goes all the way, like right down to here where my fingers are white. and I can hardly use, um, can't pick up a pen or do up buttons and stuff. And I found that wearing that 660 bound is really, really helpful for that. Do you use it, Marielle? I do, yeah. So I actually do have all three. And thank you, Sandra, for such a, an amazing technical explanation. Um, I'm probably Thanks. going to talk more about like the practical application of the thing. So I've got all three. So I have the Illuminator, which looks like this for anyone who doesn't know what it looks like. Um, and I mainly use this for, I put skincare on and then I do like a bit of a skincare treatment with it. Um, also, if I've got pain somewhere, I will just hold it wherever the pain is and use it that way. Um, also, scarring, I've noticed it's really good for and helping things heal up really quickly. So I'll just put it directly on if I've got an itchy bite or something like that. So that's the Illuminator. The 660 band, I, the main difference between the two, in my opinion, is this one's portability. So you can kind of take this anywhere, you can wear it on your wrist, but it's not just limited to putting it on your wrist. So I used it today because I had terrible cramps. Um, 
And I just put it on my stomach where I'd normally put a hot water bottle and it just really eases the cramps. Um, you can, like if I've got a sore shoulder or something, I'll just put it in my top where my sore shoulder is. So you can kind of move it around anywhere, not just on the wrist, but the main difference between the two is the portability. Um, and I think you'll probably go over some technical stuff for the wand, Sandra, but the main difference for that too is that you can, it's it's working with terahertz frequency as well. So you can actually charge your water with that terahertz frequency. Um, it's also got blue light therapy in it as well as the red light therapy um, and a whole other range of functions that we could do a whole session on just on the wand. So um, I think there is some previous trainings with all the, a lot of information about the wand and its capabilities and how people are using it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that is like a whole treatment in itself. Well, I actually shouldn't use the word treatment. <laughs> but um, yeah, so, and that's good for if you are seeing... Like if you've got clients that are coming through, I feel like these are more personal items that I would use, but I would use my wand on others as well. Um, Marielle, have you got the wand? Do you want me to go and grab mine? Um, if you can, that would be great, Jo. Yeah. I didn't. Um, mine's in. Mine's inside. I haven't got mine on me either. No. Um, so yeah, that's really good, Marielle. I also had um, used it on lower back pain. The um, and and found that really good and I have tried it around my ankle to see if that would help with my circulation in my feet um what was it I was going to say something you know something really interesting about the illuminator that I discovered when I was thinking about how to answer the or the question that came in was that the illuminator was actually initially developed for breast screening right so um Lauren does a, a, you know, one of the Solex uh, Thursday weekly calls. He spoke about it at some some time ago. That actually the illuminator was used for breast screening, which is why it's got different settings on it because um, breast tissue has different density, and um, you could use it. You you have to use it in a dark room. Um, and then you, you turn it on, you can do low, medium and high settings uh, and use it to see if there's any lumps or nodules and things within the breast tissue. And that's what it was um, initially developed for. And um, when you use it, like Marielle says, when you use it for, um, it, you know, helping to get the your serums and your face creams into your, into your skin, but it goes on the highest setting um, and you move it in, like if you're trying to lift your wrinkles off, you go in the in the movement of the way you want the wrinkles to go um, and just to be mindful about around your eyes. I thought that was really interesting. I'd forgotten that um, it was initially designed to help women with um, with breast screening and they apparently they had some really good results with it in um, in the U in the UK. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. interesting. Um, yeah, lumps in in men as well, I'm sure that's that's a really good tip. And I think also, even though they do tell you to be careful with the eyes, Lauren and Kai actually did a segment, I think it was in the Day of Discovery training, not the latest one in November, but the previous online one, where they've done some studies around um, how it helps with eyesight as well. So um, I have actually been using it that way too, but not as consistency, uh, consistently as I'd like to. But if you've got um, a tin old tin foil roll lying around because it's the exact length that it needs to be so it's 30 centimeters just the cardboard tube and you hold the cardboard tube to your eye with the illuminator on the top setting I think it is um and you just let it run and you, if you do that daily it's um said to improve your eyesight so I'm yet to experience it I know Tammy's had some great success with with her using that protocol so um, this is just another use for it. There's so many uses for red light therapy. <laughs> um, there's a plethora of things out there on the web, studies, everything. Um, so you, it's kind of sky's the limit with it really. And yeah, I just found, found that the main difference between those two was the portability of the where being able to take this with you, whereas this one's a little bit more clunky. Yeah, and um, and the um, the red the six sixty band's got the six oh five in it, which the illuminator doesn't have. 
That's so nice. yeah, yeah, slightly different, but um, Thank yeah, you. and then sorry. I love the wand. Here you go. Okay. Yes. How long have you had yours for, Joe? Um, a oh, week, two weeks. Yeah, same. Something like that. They've just been. I think we must have all got them at the same time. Um, yeah. but for those sitting on the fence, this is just it's awesome. Next level. Yeah. Like this is just next level. Yeah, it's phenomenal. It's all touch button. Um, there's a cold setting, which is amazing living in Queensland. Because <laughs> You really don't want the heat on you. So um, the cold setting is phenomenal. And it comes in that, like that's just, it's incredible. And I, I was blown away when I unwrapped it. I was like, holy crap. The mm. um, wand also has the addition of the chakra crystals and the tubing as well. Yeah. And the gold yes. and silver ionics sil well. Yes. So literally the only thing like it on the market so um but yeah it's hefty um it's easy to hold I've actually just ordered the stand because I've been watching people um wand oh, themselves on their reiki beds with the stand yeah. going and I'm like I want to do that because <laughs> no one will do it on me right so so I went okay now I've got FOMO so I actually went and ordered the stand as well either that or it was stealing Madonna's next week when I go down and see her and I'm watching your face with all <laughs> I've got the stand. I've got the stand. Yeah, I used it on my husband on last last Thursday, I think, because he had um he had some neck pain, and I just did it at, along the top, the top of his neck, and gave him um a bit of relief. And I used it on a a woman on the weekend at lower back, and she said it it made a lot of difference. So, um. I just do you want me to give you a little bit of technical oversight about the difference between um these three pieces so the infinity one has terahertz frequency in it um for those of you who came to the day of discovery up on the gold coast tammy did this fabulous presentation on it um so i've just taken some notes from that but um I believe that um, what happens when the terahertz goes into your body, it passes through all the healthy cells at normal temperatures. But when it goes through the unhealthy cells, it causes those unhealthy cells to vibrate faster, which increases their cellular temperature and um, it destroys them in the process. So it's it's a very harmless um, form of therapy penetrates most organic substances and like Mariel said it can you can use it to imprint water so it's absorbed into water um the terahertz waves are a lower frequency lower wavelength and lower quantum energy than red light so um and they vibrate the same frequency as normal bodily cells so it also helps to increase your blood flow um what else does it in here activates your dormant cells it increases your self-healing ability to the dna level clears all your meridians and lymph points and um if any of you are following becky coots kimberly she did a 12-minute video on how you the various ways that you can use the uh, infinity one so the low setting she does um around her face she does it in her ears she works her vagus nerve she does it you can do the chakras you can you can do your well you can do like Marielle said it's only limited by your imagination on how you can use it so you can hold it in your hand or you can put it in the stand and the stand has that uh, like a little arm that rocks like that so you can point it where you want it to go and it will and it will um you know move without you having to hold it because it can it can time up for 90 90 minutes um, what else does it say here? It removes damp, it removes water retention from your body and cleanses blood impurities. So um st I'm still playing with mine to see what else can happen, but um I've even used it on one of my stepsons. He loved it and got me to do it um a couple of days in a row before he he went home. And um I think he liked the warmth of it, but I'd also felt quite soothing to him. So 
that's my feedback on the terahertz or the infinity ones so far. What about you, Marielle? Well, I haven't actually got to use it as as yet. So I've only just unpacked it. Um, I got the stand as well. So I'm just still trying to figure out how to put the stand together. But um, I have used another wand previous and I had amazing success with that. So I know that this one is just going to tip the scale. So I'll yeah. keep you posted. I'll let you know once I've had some success with it. Yeah. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions so far? I think there was a question, but I can't see whose name it's come from. So it's just come from Samsung. Um, but they've just said, I'd love to ask a question if we have time. You're, you're welcome to, to take yourself off mute and ask the question now if you like. Hey, yes, that was me. Thank you. Um, I've just been using the AO scanner. It's not related to the one, sorry, but um, I've been using the AO scanner for like sorry is this i haven't joined in monday nights before so is it all right to ask any questions about it of course yep. that's what this is for yeah awesome yep cool just checking um so i actually do the scanner more than anything uh with my horses um and now i'm sort of adding it into other work that i'm doing with um horses and clients horses um and i was wondering is is do you know if solex is going to expand you know, the ability of the scanner so that it does more than just the vitals for animals? Um, or is there anything else that I can do I, with animals? You know what I mean? yeah, I'm not uh, uh, sure of the official answer to that, but, like, the, the software is, complete, is always being developed. Um, and I think mm. they're very open to suggestions too. So if, we, if you put stuff through that you'd like to see, I'm sure there's a massive list, but they uh, work their way through that. Uh, Anthea's just mentioned that they do. Oh, comprehensive. You can do comprehensive oh, on right. horses. I haven't done that. And you could probably yeah. broad and do so Cephi you dots. Set them as you? your target. I, I do Cephi dots, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, and, cool. And, and I guess, like, if you have, you can imprint the water that you're putting in the yeah. watch off. Um, yeah, can, that's it. Yeah, and play the harmonics for them. People have had really great success yeah. with playing harmonics in the barns. Um imprinting hay, the hay that they're eating like there's oh, that's a, interesting yeah or sending broadcasting frequencies to the hay bales and stuff so yeah. yeah yeah okay yeah cool and is there anything well I suppose like well remotely I suppose you just so all I'm doing is sending them the tunes at the moment or sending them sepi dots um yeah I'm just sort of trying to make sure I'm getting the most out of it for them if that makes sense yeah, definitely. I know the animals are responding ex um, exceptionally well to the wand as well, so I'm not sure if you have a okay. wand. Yeah, that's another no. thing that we're seeing some really great success with. Yeah, cool. I'd actually, I'd love to try the wand. Um, a friend um, a couple of months ago lent, uh, lent me a wand, a Prife wand, which is a different company sort of thing, and I had no idea what, what they were or anything, but after sort of playing around with that and it's really I'm really curious about um the what Solex stuff is because I think it's all it's all very new anyway um but yeah definitely something I want to try yeah so I think it's, it's generally people by distance that I kind of need to help more than anything okay I think um I'm not well versed with it but the terahertz healing can be done by distance so mm -hmm. if anyone on here knows how to do that shout out but um yeah. Yeah, so I know quite a few people in this group are familiar with both ones, so the Prife one and this one, and I think everybody in this group that's tried the Solex one has said it's far superior. So Yeah, cool. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, look, I'd love to. I, I've come from a place of I don't know enough about both of them to have an opinion in that way, you know what I mean? So I'm just really open to learning. I'm just trying to make my way through um the things that I do use before I jump into more new stuff because I've got so much on my plate at the moment so yeah but thank and, you for helping answer that question yeah. that's awesome I know you're welcome and just so you know too like I've been playing around with this for two years and I like I still don't know I haven't even scratched the surface yet so it's <laughs> awesome <laughs> yeah, I'm the same you. you know I'm still learning um there's so much to learn um and actually, you know, I, I know it's not, Belle did a, a great video a couple of weeks ago on some tips and tricks and ways that you can broadcast broadcast frequencies to yourself. So if you can get, um, have a look oh. at that, it'll give you some. Where's that? 
um, it's in our Frequency Soul Collective Education oh, yeah. Group. Yeah. yeah. See them. They're all in there. They're, she did She did a really cool, really creative way to use um to broadcast frequencies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. All right. I'll check that out. Thanks. That's okay. Um, any other questions? I think there, there is a question there, Madonna. Um, yeah. where are the written instructions on the wand? So again, I think Debbie um Debbie has actually posted those in the frequency. I always forget I always mix, mix the name up. So this so uh, what is it, Sandra? It's <laughs> the there's the frequency self collective. collective education hub. Yeah, she does a DJ puts a whole lot of guides and things in there, and it's really quite well structured. So if you have a look in there, you can find stuff. Um, there is also some information on the Solex blog as well. So if you um, go into the Solex blog section, I think you can actually search in there. And if you just typed in the wand, um, that should come up so there's full instructions in there and tips on how to use it as well because yeah. i yeah. went into the document area there's been nothing in there and i went through a whole bunch of the stuff on our soul collective side and i could not find it, I see it. I just went through dozens of things and i have not been able to put my hand on anything what what are you looking for exactly madonna i've got an old guy who bought one off me he wants something written so he doesn't okay. do videos. He wants something okay. written, you know. So I've literally given him two boxes to go home with, and he's he he wants some written instructions. Yeah. Okay. I've contacted um Solex, but they haven't got. Uh, actually, they might have got back to me. I've been flat out today. So. Yeah. He wants instructions on how to use it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it doesn't come. It doesn't have. Instructions in the box. No, there's nothing in there. No. no. I think they've probably done that on purpose just to help us out with the whole customs debacle. So, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. There, so, well, there is, there, you know, I know you said he doesn't want to watch something, but Becky Coots, Kimberly did a great uh, that 12 minute video on how to use it. Yeah, I've said that to him. Yeah, I said that to him. Yeah, I don't know where there's any... Um... I mean, it's not clear about how to use the buttons. I know everyone says, it, you know, but I, it's bloody guesswork for me. I just press buttons and sometimes it's hot and sometimes it's cold and I've got no idea what I'm doing. Oh, thank I'll you. teach you next week, Madonna. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you some training Valentine's when I come for my appointment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a one training. <laughs> cool. <laughs> So thank you for that. Joe's just linked the blog article in the comment in the um, meeting chat there. So you, you'll be able to click that link for Donna. Cool. I'll send it to him right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No That's worries. all right. There's another one that I'm looking for. So I'll keep doing that in the background and I'll send you that too. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Um, I think Ellie, you had a question about frequency parties, didn't you? Well, yeah, I just wondered if anyone had actually ran one and how what they offered and the length of the time the party went. There was a few people did message back. Is that something you have done, girls? I've done one with Amanda. Um, we did it, I think it was um, in August last year, and um, it went for about three hours. Okay. So we actually did it at my place, at my home. Um, so... It was a basically a free event. We didn't we didn't charge anyone any money for it, um, and we got everyone to send through. Uh, we we set everyone up on our on the device the the couple of days beforehand, and on the day before, I think it was a Sunday, the day before we got them all to send through their ten second voice recording, so we could do their run their scans and stuff and have it ready for them as part of the the afternoon. Um, Amanda did a, a beautiful circle like with grid work and crystals and we got everyone to pick a, a couple of cards and it was a bit like a bit like a circle really because it was it was women. There were no men. We only we only had women, not for any reason, but just seemed to be women that arrived. Um, 
so everyone you know picked a card and sort of set the, we set the, the theme for the day talking about frequency um people got to talk about you know I guess what made them curious enough to come along and you know write down any insight they got from the card that they pulled we did a, a meditation so I did a meditation on some of the energy healing work that I've been doing and then we talked, we did, do you remember that presentation um, that we used to deliver ages uh, last year um, that was a slightly adapted depending, um, we did it, it, it went through all what what the whole process about frequency and what it is and what it does and the various mm -hmm. different reports. Well, we went through that. We did that um, on the TV screen. Right. Um, okay. And then we did little afternoon tea and everyone got to sit down and listen to their inner voice so we did it all together and we ran through the you know ran through the reports to give them a bit of an insight in what it means um uh, answered any questions and then we had you know the, the other tools that we that we use which I think back then we had the illuminator and the 660 band we had the Sephi dots we imprinted um, everyone's water with some frequency for the day and we, we, we explained how we were broadcasting frequency into the room. Um, what else did we do? Um, That's a lot. Yeah, it was big. We did, an, we did a lucky dip. So we put everyone's name into um, a little hat and picked one out and they got an, an easy scan, like a complimentary easy scan. So I can share... I. I'm I'm pretty like I like to be very organized with all these things. So I created a running sheet for it. So I can share that with you if you want to have a look at it. Yeah. And just give yourself like some I wasn't ideas. Thinking about, um like doing a presentation or anything like that. I was thinking more along the lines of um offering an inner voice scan for everyone that comes, talk about frequencies, how they can benefit frequency therapy can benefit the body, talk about our emotions, and then I was thinking about like maybe bringing a, a a screen and then bringing up what an inner voice scan report looks like so that they can all get an idea so that they can look at because it's basically looking at their dominant thoughts where your dominant thoughts have been the last couple of days you know so yep. it was teaching them that so they could go home and look at it look at what's going on in their current reality look at where they're stuck what it is that they're they're aiming for what do you know what I mean? And then yep. give them the idea that these frequencies are going to help them so that when they've taken away the frequencies after the party, they're actually going to listen to the music and, you know, look at the reports and, you know, really benefit from them and, and choose to get the most out of them. Yep. I wasn't going to do a free event either. Like yep. my events have all been free events. And as much as the effort that we've put in, it hasn't been that great, like coming back, like for the business side of things. Yes, I think um, that was a good learning experience for me too. Not doing it for free. You know, what we've got so amazing. Yeah. You know? So when yep. people are paying a small amount to come to something, they're getting such good value for it. Like my last event was ten dollars for a ticket, and they got a mocktail at the door, and you know there was stuff going on, and we had raffles and stuff, and it was such a successful event. But I was thinking more like little little frequency parties that maybe two or three hours long. But I was just trying to work out what what to offer to keep yeah. the costs down, but also keeping it high enough so that they value what it is that we've got to show them, so that they're engaged and really, you know, looking forward to coming along to this, you know, frequency party. So I want it to be fun. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, it was. I think the. I think one of the learnings that we got from it was our presentation was it was too big, you no, know? it was too big. So you're right. I mean, I think if I've actually been asked to do another one, but over the right over the other side of Melbourne, and um, I wouldn't, I don't think I would do that presentation again because it gets yeah. heavy, and people, if you don't understand, it can just you know it can be overwhelming so I really like yeah. what you suggested that sounds really 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 good I mean, obviously you need to be kind of you need to put the signs behind some of this because some people yeah. need to know the little signs bits you know for it all to click together so I mean obviously we'd really incorporate that somehow but I'm just was wondering so you offered them all an inner voice scan each and then you done a raffle and they got an EZ scan because whoever yeah whoever won the raffle got the easy scan yeah 
we wanted them to sit in the room together having their afternoon tea and listen to their inner voice and just um, so we could talk through what what showed up and how they felt and they could actually yeah. and we and we had um you know we had like a little piece a piece of paper where they could write down stuff so they could actually see before and after like you know so you yeah. can see the difference sometimes you're not you're not aware of it but if you write down before and then write down after you can actually see the shift so we did things like that it was good fun it was really really good fun but you're right you need to you need to charge for it I was thinking like because the ladies reached out to me from one of my last events and um she said she would love to hold one of these frequency parties how many people would out would would be a comfortable amount like what would you charge so I'm just trying to get a little flyer together of how we're going to do this you know I want it to be maybe a two-hour event max yeah you know, short and sweet Sh show people yep. what's possible for them and their family you know how this can benefit their health you know um so yeah sounds like you've already got it um you've already got it in your head <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, two hours I think is good. You know, we we did three hours, but we were just, you know, having this. I guess it was an experiment, really, just to see how it would work and what we would do differently next time. But um, I know I think I had about eight people turn up, and um, it was a really really nice afternoon. And you could um, you could you could feel the difference, you know, afterwards that, that, you know, some, a lot of them didn't know each other, but it was, it created a really nice environment. Yeah, Everyone had a lovely yeah. afternoon. Yeah. And that's how I feel about the events that we've done previously. Like we've just made such amazing connections now. And now I've got people coming and saying, well, when are we holding the next one? We had so much fun. And the crystal ladies on the phone, she's like, I'm in, when are we doing another one? And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> So it's exciting because it's just going to attract the people who are interested in this will just come, you know, and that's, that's the beautiful thing about this frequency work and, and the, this business. It's fun. I do, I do think, um, ladies, that Beck does have a presentation because I know she's held one before, like a frequency party. Um, but there is also a, a presentation in the back office that's got probably just the right amount of information in it. It's like not too overwhelming, but it's just got just enough of the snippets in it that you probably need. So that's in the back office somewhere. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that one before. Yeah, I've got a presentation that I've been using for a while and I just chop and copy and paste and chop it as I go. Like that last presentation that we done, um, we actually it was funny because we'd hired this hall and we bought this projector and we had this idea we were going to project this onto the wall and when we got there there wasn't a wall to project it onto it was all covered in shields and stuff and we were like oh my god and then we literally walked into the kitchen and there's this 52 inch television on a stand with an extension cable I literally wheeled it out the kitchen and plugged my laptop in and boom there's a presentation on this huge telly and I was like yay so mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny how these things work. But we, I think we had about 10 people turn up to our last one, which was a free event. It was great. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've got some follow-ups to do from that. And, yeah, they're interested in doing some more events in the local area and seeing what's available to us. So yeah, that's great. Um, Emma, Julie and I have done a, a few as well. Um, I don't know if you guys are on. <laughs> um, but like some of the learnings that we've had so one of them we had I think might have been five or six people and we did we gave away way too much for free so we did like an inner voice and a vital scan and we went through everybody's vital scan um, results with them uh, and it was really great like the event was great but we just probably gave away too much for um and what we have found is like some people can get really overwhelmed so yeah it's just yeah. finding that sweet spot that's what I was thinking about the parties like if we just offer an inner voice scan give them the binaural beats get them excited about listening to them how it's going to help shift their emotions and then sh say to them like at this you know now we've got an opportunity to look at your hormones look at your cardiovascular stuff that's going on, you know, is there anything going on in your body that, you know, you would like to shift or you're not sure you can't move it, you know, 
because we can have a look at that and we can look at the emotions around it and we can try and figure out what's going on. I can't I can't remember if this was actually discussed, but I know that our aim was to eventually run those events and give the host of the event um, of the event the reward. So run the full gamut on the host. And if we were running a presentation, it would be all on the if the host was open to it, having their yeah, that was an idea I thought of as well. Because I did say to the girl that reached out to me, I was like, obviously your scan would be free on the night. We'll do a whole yeah. session with you and, and show you what's possible. Um, but it was just ideas of what to to give the the guests that are choosing to come along because I yeah. was like a ticketed thing like you do need to pay to come along to this because I feel like it will be it will be beneficial for everybody. Yeah, so we, we were thinking we were thinking the full scan package for the host and just like a an inner voice for inner the rest. voice. Yeah. yeah. How much do you charge for your full scans for the comprehensive scans? Oh, uh, we. Oh, <laughs> I've got to run down somewhere. Um, so an inner voice is 50, a vitals is 80, and the comprehensive is 120. Okay, that's roughly what ours are as well. I think right, uh, 59 I normally charge for an inner voice at an event, which yeah. I think is a good, a good price. But yeah, perfect. That's great, girls. Thank you. It's given me loads of stuff to think about. No worries. Yeah, I'm... The other thing I, I think I mentioned, you can, I mean, you can, they can go away with imprinted jewellery too. That's always yeah, a really interesting thing. Yeah, we'll take dots with us and, yeah. you know. You can sell a few sepies and, and stuff, yeah. But it sounds really good, Ali. Like it sounds like, it sounds like you already know what you want to do really. Yeah, it's good. just about putting it together eh, and finding the tribe that's local to do these with us, you know. Um, but it's all coming together. That's great. I'm just conscious of the time. There's 15 minutes left. I was going to share a couple of tricks or tips that you guys may or may not know. But before I do that, does anyone have any questions that we haven't answered or that anyone wants to ask? Doesn't look like there's any more in the chat. All right, in that case, <laughs> I don't know how useful this is going to be to you guys, but this is just one thing that I find really useful. So when I am making a, a, a SEPI playlist, I sometimes find it a bit difficult to go through all of the different tabs. So what I've done is I've got this folder and I've printed out all of the, um, everything that's in the library, basically. And I'm not, no expert in homeopathy or anything like that. And I haven't done the training in that. So that's on my list to do. But for the time being, what I do is I have all these printed out. And if someone rings me up and says, I've got this bacterial infection or something, and they give me all the details about the symptoms, I do a bit of research online to figure out what the best homeopathic remedies are for that. Um, and I just have a look through my list here and I've got like a little whiteboard marker. So I just put a little dot between all the remedies that I'm going to use. So I'll mark them up and then I'll go into my scanner and make that playlist up. And then I can actually just rub that out. So I that's one thing that I find really handy because there's so many homeopathic remedies in there. And when you're looking at it within the scanner, it's it's hard to see them all. So, and I'm very visual, so that's one little handy thing that I do. Um, the other thing that uh, I actually was going to share my screen, but I'm not sure if I can. Sure, if you can, hey. Um, jo, <laughs> do you Yeah, I did, I did change it, but I think because you were already in the meeting, it uh, won't actually apply it, to the okay. meeting. But you know what's weird? It shows that she, um, Marielle, is a co-host on, mm. like, on my screen, like, you know, my little participant section. Um, yeah, she's a call. When I click on share screen, it just I'll says make the, you host the host is disabled. Let me see. I'll just made you the host and see if that's working. Try now. Actually, maybe because I'm logged on twice, so I'll. I'm gonna jump out in one of them so it just means I'm going to jump off camera um and then I'll try and share my screen one second oh I'm going to assign that back to you Sandra okie dokes 
Okay, can you still hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can, would you be able to try and make me host now or co-host? Yep. yep, yep, yep. I'm going to make you host, okay? Oh, I'm the host now. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm going to share my screen. Can everybody see that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, you guys might already know this, but this is just one little handy thing that I love. So um, if you click into your profile name up here and you go into supplements and therapies, um, and there's a little book icon here. So if you click in that book icon, it brings up all of the remedies that are in the in the Solex homeo homeopathic library. And if you select all, and then you scroll right to the bottom and you go add to client, that will put all of those um, in your supplement library. So then when I go and run an easy scan, I'll just show you how I have done it. Um, and I'll go into my latest report for Easy Scan. If it wants to work for me. Technical difficulties. It's not working. One second, ladies. Sorry. Move that up. Yeah, that's a really good tip, Marielle. I did that. I've done that. It's helpful, it's isn't it? So, yeah, I'm sorry if everybody already knows this, but it's just one that made life a lot more easier for me. Um, so when you go into your report, your easy scan, um, and you run your easy scan, it'll actually bring up all of those remedies that you need for that day. Um, and you'll see them here. So they've all come up here. And then I just pop a glass of water on the screen in the morning and I hit erase. And then I just imprint all the frequencies that it's brought up for me for that day. And I drink that glass of water. So I'm getting the exact hit of what I need for the day. That's um, crazy. You know something else you can do? So if you have a computer and you know your screen's facing up, you know most people would actually put their imprint their water onto the device like that. If you don't have a, a phone, if you've got a big glass of water or something heavy and you don't want to put it on your device or on your phone, you can actually put it against the screen itself and imprint that way. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes we don't think to do that. You know, even though the screen's sitting up, you can imprint it against the screen that way instead of sitting on it that way. I only discovered that recently. Um, that that's yeah, that's another little thing. Um, another one that I do, which I know a lot of people already do, but for anyone who's new to this, um, is tracking my scan results. So I haven't done it for some time, but. Let me just share my screen again. So when you email your report to yourself, um, you can actually, you got, you've got the option to um, open it up in an Excel format. And so what I do is I just copy and paste the report into an Excel spreadsheet and then each subsequent scan that I run, I'm just copying and pasting these columns in. So then I can go across and really easily see what's showing is out of balance on a regular basis. So that's another little one. Um, that's really cool that. I haven't and, tracked mine. Okay. Um, I, 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 I That's what I do for people who I'm seeing on a regular basis too, who... Because again, I'm not I'm not a medical expert and I just try and look for the patterns for them as they're coming through. So that's a really good way to keep track of the patterns. Yeah. Um what's something else? Oh, I've probably got time for one more. Um I've just 
finished phase one training, which was awesome. <laughs> Um, and Lauren was talking about I don't, if you've got the glasses, the yellow glasses are really good to put on if you've ever got an upset stomach. I tried this the other day and it worked like a charm. So there's something about yellow and upset stomach. So if you've got the glasses and you you're, you have kids that have an upset stomach, just pop the yellow ones on and that is really, really helpful. Lauren actually takes the yellow pair away with him when he goes to a foreign country or something. So <laughs> that's um, a handy little tip. And I think that's that's all for now. But um, yeah, I've got like other little tips and tricks. I've got another training session, so I'll probably tr share some more. But it's just tricky knowing what people know and don't know. So yeah, again, sorry if you already you already know all those, but feel free. We've got about seven minutes left. So if anyone has any other questions while we're waiting, just um, pop them in the chat. Yeah, and it's just a good reminder, isn't it? Because there's so much, I mean, there's so much to learn with the with the technology. Sometimes you can forget those simple little things, but they do they do make um they make a huge difference, don't they? Yes, they do. I think we've just got another question in here from Elizabeth. So do you find the imprint cannot be very long? So if I press again, sometimes it looks different. Does anyone have a very brief imprint and does it matter? Um, this is for the water, like the supplements in the water. Yeah, I, it, I it's it's a bit of a mental thing for me too. So if that happens to me, I just press it again just to make sure that I'm giving it that extra dose. But According to what Lauren said, it doesn't matter. No. But but for me, I just I need that. <laughs> so I'll just it, it doesn't go for long, so I'll just push it again. Yeah, sometimes yeah, I do the same thing. Yeah, so it's good to know it doesn't really matter. But sometimes like I'll repress the same one but get a different picture, get yeah. a different like pattern, and I just I mean, you just trust, right? That it's yeah, all because it's like, um, it's yeah. the frequency is the same. The frequency is the same. It's just the the image that's different. Yeah. Okay. The frequency underneath will still be the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a rem it's a reminder, isn't it, that it's it's all about frequency. Mm. You yeah. know, so you know, with the pulse tones, with the inner voice, you can change the music that you listen to. Mm. You know, when you do the pulse tones, so the music can be anything but the frequency is it doesn't change okay yeah good that's a great way to put it thank you that's okay does anyone else have any other questions oh hold on okay i can actually see one there um any questions for some do you mind going back over how you got the scans into the spreadsheet um i think that is that you madonna no that was me Oh, that's you. Okay. Yeah. So, so when you when you email the report yeah. to your um, scanner, you've got two options. You can either click on the link to access the report, or if you scroll yeah. to the bottom of the email, it's there's two Excel spreadsheets that you can you can open. Yeah, right. Yeah. So you've got to scroll right to the bottom of that email, um, mm -hmm. and you can either I always click on the enhanced one because that gives you all the numbers. So yeah. you. You open it up, you open up your first one and you just do a save as to your computer um, okay. and you just save the whole thing down. And then when you go in and run your subsequent scan, you don't need to bring the whole report ac across. You're just taking the two columns with the numbers in them and bringing them. Oh, okay, like copy and paste. Like copy yeah. and paste. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right. Yep. Thank you. That, that makes sense. Cool. Okay. Um, thank you. That is so cool. <laughs> it's going to make a world of difference to tracking. Yes, it does. It's great. Right. Um, okay, I don't think there's any more questions. There's one more little thing that I really love, and I've it's worked really well for my whole family. I've just got a jar of coconut oil, and I got a blue jar just because that's the same color as the um, you know, the Solex um homeop homeopathy bottles. And I have just created a dental playlist and I put the coconut oil, imprint the coconut oil with all the um, dental frequencies and I oil pull, my whole family oil pull with that. And we have seen such an improvement in our, our oral health. It's amazing. So, What are you doing with the, the coconut oil? Sorry. 
Oh, just imprinting it with all the supportive dental frequencies. Yeah, and then, and then using it as cream. And no oil pulling, so you gargle with it. So you have a, a sip of it, and you. I don't know if you the oil pulling's an Ayurvedic um tradition. So, mm, right. um, yeah, it's very good for you. It pulls out all the toxins and everything. Um, there's a lot of like information about it online. Google but, it with. Do you gargle it with water, Mario? No, just the straight coconut oil. Just put it in your mouth. Just gargle it. Give it a good gargle, and then obviously don't spit it down the drain because you'll clog your drain. So I, I actually spit it into like some tissue and in, into the bin. So right, okay, yeah, been really great for all of our dental health. We've been we've had our most recent dental checkups, and um, they were the best. There was the best appointment we've had. So that's so good. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I think that's probably a wrap. Um, I wonder mm. what else you could imprint. Wouldn't need to be coconut oil. Just thinking, my kids probably wouldn't eat that. I'm thinking, what else could I imprint? You could do toothpaste. You could do the toothpaste. You could, but the, the coconut oil actually has like some real health benefits to it. So it, it's actually it's called oil pulling. So, um, you probably could do another. Uh, you could, I mean, you could just do it with water, I guess, Ellie, but it's, um, yeah, the, the oil pulling has specific benefits to it as well. So thanks. You're welcome. All right. Well, all right, ladies, well, it was lovely to spend time with you all. Thank and, you. Yeah. Uh, thanks for joining us. And we will see you on the next one. Yep. Thanks, ladies. Thanks, Marielle. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. Bye.